Alright, we're going to demonstrate how to use the place value board and place value disks with students when we're working with the standard algorithm. So when we're talking about addition, we're adding, talking about adding two parts to make a whole. So in the beginning, we want the child to identify what is the first part in the problem. The first part would be 5,379. And we want them to build that part with their place value disks on their board. Those are hundreds. Those were hundreds, so we're going to start in our thousands place. 5,379. Now, when we're talking about adding in the standard algorithm, where do we begin to add? In our ones place. In our ones place. So if we look at our problem, how many ones do we currently have in the ones place? We have nine currently. And how many do we need to add? Four more. So we're going to add four. Once the ten frame is full, then students put the additional ones down at the bottom of their board. Okay. So how many total ones do you have in your ones place? I have 13 ones. 13 ones. Can we record 13 ones in our ones place? No. No. So we have to keep this same value, but we have to show it another way. So we're going to regroup our 13. So we're going to take the 10 ones that are in the ones place and move them over on top of our tens place. Because 10 ones have the same value as what? as one ten and three ones. Ten ones have the same value as one ten, yes. So now we're going to record how many ones did we leave in our how many ones did we leave in our ones place? I left three ones here. Okay. So now before we record, I'm going to erase your one right here because before you have your student record that, what do we need to do with these ten ones that are here? Oh, I need to make a fair trade. We need to make a trade. We need to show that those ten ones have the same value as one ten. And now we can record that by putting a 1 in our tens place. So this is 13 is 1, 10, and 3 ones. Yes. So now in our tens place, if we look there, we can see that we're adding 1, 10, plus 7, tens, plus 6, tens. Okay, so 1, one 10, and 7, tens is 8, tens. And now how many more tens do we need to add? 6 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. That would be fourteen tens. Can we record fourteen tens? No, because there's only room for one digit. So what's the value of fourteen tens? One hundred forty. One hundred forty. So we're going to regroup these fourteen tens to still show that value of one hundred forty a different way. So I'm going to move these over here, and I'll put these four up here. And now I'm going to do my fair trade. And why did you choose the hundred? Because if I counted by tens, ten times it would be equal to one hundred. Okay. So now when we go back to our problem over there, what digit are we going to leave in our tens place? I've got in your tens place four tens, and then I had to put one hundred over there. Okay. So now what can we do with that one hundred? So this is 100 plus 300 is 400, and I have to add five more hundreds. So how many hundreds do we have? I have nine. What's that value? 900. 900. So in our hundreds place, we have nine hundreds. And do we have to regroup? No, I've got space left over. Okay. So now we go to our thousands place. How many thousands do we currently have? Five thousand. And how many do we need to add? Two more thousands. So how many thousands did we end up with in our thousands place? Seven thousand. And what is our t what is our whole for our problem? Seven thousand nine hundred forty-three. Nice job.